Greetings, Ian from RTO here. Welcome to another classic album. Um, as during the month of August, we have been looking at some great reggae albums. And we couldn't end the month without doing an album by this gentleman. We are talking, of course, about Bob Marley. Born Robert Nestor Marley on the 6th of February 1945 in Jamaica. Now, the, um, Bob Marley is considered one of the pioneers of reggae. Um, his musical career didn't mark that fusion elements of reggae, ska and rock steady, brought them all together and gave, I think, to reggae that more brought it into the marketplace. Um, apart from being a great musician, he was, of course, a Rastafarian icon, he infused his music with his spirituality and um, he was very outspoken for d democratic social reforms and it led to him in in 1976 that someone tried to shoot him. <laughs> he survived that but sadly in 1981 he was taken from us too early by cancer or the spread of his melamona to his lungs and brain. And his, his final words are always remembered but to his son Ziggy. And he says, on your way up, take me up. On your way down, don't let me down. Very moving words from the great man. So the album we're going to look at, and I would say this considered one of the best reggae albums of all time. I'm not going to say it's if it's my favourite because... I will be doing a next year we'll be doing a full Bob Marley album ranking because I think he deserves it and the album is his fifth album from 1973 and it's Catch a Fire which he did with Bob Marley and the Wailers and um, it's just a great album so who plays on this so you got Bob Marley on the guitar and vocals Peter Tosh organ piano and vocals Bunny Whaler on bongos and congo. Aston Barrett bass guitar. Carlton Barrett on the drums. Rita Marley backing vocals. Marcia Griffiths backing vocals. Additional people is John Bundrick on keyboards. Wayne Perkins plays some guitar on Concrete Jungle. And maybe we've got a date. Robbie Shakespeare bass guitar on Concrete Jungle. Tommy McCook on the flute. Jean Roussel on piano, Winston Wright organ, Francisco Pep percussion, Kish Karan per percussion, and the album was produced by the Whalers and Chris Blackwell. So the opening track is the classic Concrete Jungle. Absolutely brilliant track. What a great bass line this is. The guitar work is really good. It is just one of those iconic Bob Marley tracks. Slave Driver, solid reggae song, great vocal from Bob. He put so much emotion and the band are absolutely brilliant. The Wailers are just a great bunch of musicians. Next track up is a track called 400 Years. Again, the bass line is just terrific. Written by Peter Tosh, one of my favourite tracks on this album. Let me get my favourite track on here, and it's Stop That Train. I love the guitar on this, that rich organ. Um, it's got that very Jamaican feel to it. Absolutely brilliant track. Then we've got Baby, We've Got a Date, Rocket Baby. Just got that solid Jamaica sound of reggae. Lovely guitar solo on this. One of the best on the album. Stir it up. I love this. It's a little bit different. Great vocal from Bob though. Uh, it's a terrific track. Kinky Reggae. Now this actually defines the reggae sound for me. When you think of reggae, this is what I think of. Kinky Reggae. Well, it's a funny title, but I do like it. No more tr trouble. Again, just solid reggae. It relaxes you. You can chill out to that. 
Midnight Ravers, one of my other favourite songs by Bob Marley. Got everything in here, the harm harmonies, the vocals. Oh, it's just brilliant. What a track to end the album with. So, the critical reception of To Catch a Fire was very positive. Robert Criscow. Actually says something good. Half of these songs are worthy of St. John the Divine. And the Barrett Brothers bass and drums save those that aren't from aren't from limbo. I'm sure this bloke deliberately says bad things. Rolling Stone said uh, praise the brothers playing, concluding that Catch a Flyer is a blazing debut, according to the review. Concrete Jungle and Slave Driver crackle through street rides into to sea. While kinky reggae and stir it up reveal the music's vast capacity of good times skanking. Critics have called Catch a Fire one of the greatest reggae albums of all time. I actually agree. Vic Eingenau of all m music comments that Marley would continue to achieve the great critical, critical and commercial success during the 70s. But Catch a Fire is one of the finest reggae albums ever. The album was essential, an essential for any music collection. Rolling Stone ranked it at 123 in its list of greatest albums, 500 albums. All Music so gave, gave it um, 5 stars. Chris Gale gave it an A. Pop, Encyclopedia Popular Music gave it 5. Music Hound Rock gave it 4.5. The Rolling Stone album going 4.5. This album sold 14,000 copies in the first week. Peaked at number 171 on the billboard. When it was re-released, it did well as well. So it's, it's, it's done very, very well for them. Um, as, I, as it says, it's one of the greatest reggae albums. I do like this album. As I says, I'm not going to tell you if it's my favourite of his albums but I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 9 out of 10 so you'll know that it's quite high on the list it'll be quite high on the list ok um, I've enjoyed doing this reggae month um, quite a lot but um, if you think a reggae album should be put in Battle Royale put one in let's have a bit of reggae in there 17th of September is the closing date so that's the last of the August classic albums. Now, in September, we're also doing a thing, when, and I'm going to look at four blues albums. And it's the top four in one of the um, lists I've found. So I just went and found the t a list, and I will tell you more about that next week. Okay, that's all for today. Um, tomorrow, we've got a busy day. Uh, it's Ladies' Day, and tomorrow we have got a English folk band from Watford. They are three sisters, and they're called the Staves. And also tomorrow we are doing a tribute to actress, singer, and rather lovely lady who sadly passed away last month, um, Miss Jane Birkin. So we're going. I'm going to pick my favourite tracks by Jane Birkin. And also tomorrow, I've got a birthday top 10 to do as well. So, lots happening tomorrow. Have a great bank holiday if you're in the UK. Wherever else you're in the world, have a fine day. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.